Hi guys, welcome to another Excellent Mathematics video. Today we'll be looking at how to calculate the period of an investment. So, the agenda for today, we're looking at the different types of interest, isolating the investment period variable so that we can solve it, and then a few examples. Okay, let's go. So, the different types of interest. There's simple interest, compound interest, there's simple depreciation, compound depreciation, and then there's a nominal, nominal and effective interest rates. The depreciation is just the reverse of the interest. So that's just discounting your investment. So the variables, variables that will be used today is A, which would be the investment value after earning interest, P, which is the initial investment value, I, which would be the interest rate, N, which, which is the investment period, M, which is the effective interest period. This is basically how many times the interest will be earned throughout the year. So for example, a monthly effective interest rate means M equals 12. So first we'll be looking at simple interest. The formula for simple interest is A equals P times 1 plus I times N. And the depreciation is just the same formula, but instead of a plus, it's a minus. So depreciation is when an investment loses value over time. Let's look at an example. An amount of $1,000 is invested for N years at a simple interest rate of 5%. This investment grows to $1,200. How many years did it take to grow to this amount? So, first we want to write it out in the normal formula notation. So, inputting the values into the formula, we have this formula. So now, we just basically try to get N alone so that we can solve for the period. By doing this, following some simple mathematical steps, we get to an answer of N equals 4 years. Next, we'll look at a simple example of depreciation. If an investment of $2,000 depreciates by 10% each year to a value of $1,000, for how many years did it depreciate? So then, we also just need the formula, plug, plug in all the relevant values, follow those steps, then you'll get to n equals 5 years. Next, we'll be looking at compound interest and depreciation. So the formula for compound interest is the same as simple interest, except that instead of multiplying your interest rate by n, you, multiply, you take 1 plus i to the power of n. This is a much more effective way of earning interest and will give you a, a much better future value on your investment. So, Using this formula going forward, if you want to solve for the period, you would re really need to isolate your period. So basically, the simple formula that you can always remember that you could use for any time when you have to solve a compound interest problem is this formula. And that's using basic logarithm rules. And then the formula for depreciation would be the same as the interest. Instead of having a plus, you'll have a minus. So. Let's look at a compound interest example. If you invest $100 at a compound interest rate of 4% and achieve a final value of $108.16, how many years did you invest for? So we still use the formula and then we plug in the relevant values and then we get to this value. And from that previous example, we just want to use that formula to solve N. Then we also just plug in the values and then you get N is two years. A depreciation example will follow the same logic. Just replace the 1 plus i in the log function with 1 less i. Next, we'll be looking at nominal versus effective interest. Effective interest is earned annually per year. Nominal interest is earned per effective period. Monthly effective interest is the interest that will be earned every month for the year. Quarterly would be four times a year, semi-annually two times a year. Looking at the following formula that compares nominal to effective interest, we see what the effective period is. 1 plus i equals 1 plus im divided by m to the power of, n, of m. This formula determines what the equivalent effective interest rate will be for a given nominal interest rate. For monthly effective, you'll have m equals 12. So, from the formula shown two lines above, I12 divided by 12 is basically your monthly effective interest rate. And this is the interest rate that you'll be earning every month. So if you multiply 1 plus this percentage, 
to the power of how many periods there are, you'll get your interest. And then I-12 would be known as your monthly compounded nominal interest rate. Now, let's look at a simple example. You need to calculate the quarterly compounded nominal interest rate if the annual effective interest rate is 7%. So, first off, we need to set up the formula. This formula can be used for any of the nominal versus effective interest rate calculations. So, basically, we need to solve IM. Since we want a quarterly rate, we know that M equals 4. Therefore, we have 1 plus the 7% equals 1 plus I4 divided by 4 to the power of 4. This is due to it being quarterly. So, by, the, by using simple mathematics, you just take the root with a 4 on both sides just to eliminate the, to the power of 4 on the right hand side. Then, rounding to 9 decimals, you get to that answer. So then, you could just follow basic substitution principles to get the I4 alone. And taking it one step further, and then at the end, we get that the quarterly compounded nominal interest rate would be 6.82%. And one very useful interest rate hint that you can always test if you got to the right answer is the following. Your, nom your effective interest rate for the year will always be greater than the equivalent semi-annually nominal rate and would also be greater than your quarterly rate. So using this, you'll also always know when, when you switch between the interest rates that you did the calculation correctly, since this formula will always hold. And that's all for it today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you want any more content posted, please comment on the video or send me an email. I'd like to get more involved with grade 12 mathematics, but if you would prefer doing me doing different grades, just let me know and please remember to subscribe. Thanks.